Hey guys, it's me again, Pam. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me in this video today. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am still in the same hotel room. I'm actually waiting for Kyle to get discharged from the hospital across the street. Uh, unfortunately, he had a really bad infection that uh, luckily we got back to London in time and uh, he had to stay in the hospital overnight. And so while waiting for him to get discharged, I figured I might as well do something productive. And so I am wanting to share with you guys a video on my vlogging. I had to say vlogging with a V set up while I'm traveling. So this video is going to be specifically about filmmaking while traveling ultra, ultra light. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So to start off, I wanted to show you guys the lighting from outside. You see how bright it is outside and it's kind of making everything else here look dark, especially because the equipment is black. I wanted to show you guys the totality of my equipment here for ultralight travel blogging. And the only thing that you guys are not seeing right now is basically the camera and part of the wireless microphone. And I am literally just using my phone to record this video. So let's start off here. I am using a DJI wireless mic. And at first I didn't want to bring it with me because first of all, it's heavy, but I just realized it's very useful to bring it because I just noticed that if I am not using the microphone, there's just too much echo and it picks up so much of the background noise. And there's actually a lot of children in this hotel and uh, they're screaming and yelling outside. So I don't think you guys heard it because when I was editing my other videos, I didn't hear them either, but they're having too much fun out there. So it's good that I have a microphone. Moving on here, I just, I always forget to introduce myself, but because I get too excited in making the video, but here's my name. So I, I'm titling this video, Pam's Ultralight Blogging Setup. And since I ended up bringing that post-it, I figured I'll just write things down so I myself won't forget to tell you guys about every single thing. So over here, I ended up bringing the DJI Osmo 2 action camera, which is lighter than bringing my GoPro Hero 10 or the Hero 8. And I had opted to just bring the necklace magnet that comes uh, for the DJI like that. I have the wind muffs for the wireless microphone. I am using one of it right now. As you can see here, I don't need the wind muffs unless I'm recording outside, which I have just chosen to be lazy and not even use a microphone when I'm outside recording, as you guys noticed some of the clips. And my adapter, which is super bulky, and someday I will replace it with a more seamless one. I do like that it has USB ports here. However, these USB ports are slow chargers. And if you want a fast charger for your phone or for anything, you need to have another plug, which this one is. It has three or sorry, three normal speed USB ports and a fast charger right here, which I use for my phone. Moving on, we have, I actually have more than one micro SD card, but Kyle borrowed two of them and I haven't needed to use them two batteries. Normally I would just bring one if I was traveling by myself, but because Kyle is traveling with me, uh, we bring two, one for me, one for him. Honestly, we have only needed to use one at a time because this charges my phone and his phone, and we have plenty of time for the whole day to get back and charge everything back up. So I haven't needed to use two of them. It's also helpful to note that we, we are not camping in this travel trip. So uh, that's another reason why I didn't really need to use up the battery packs. I have this adapter here and this adapter is actually USB-C to USB. And what it does is that 
I could plug this into my phone and the USB uh, SD card reader, which Kyle also has because I just noticed I don't have it with me, <laughs> is the one that reads the micro SD card that can plug into here so that if I need to, I can review the micro SD um, images or videos in my cell phone. This ultra long cord is actually not long enough and I just realized next time I am going to bring the 10 foot long cell phone charger. This is only six feet and it's too short. I had found in some hotel rooms like this one or hostel rooms, the outlets are really far away. As you can see, this is the bed and that's the outlet and there's absolutely no outlet on this side. So if I was sleeping on this side, then uh, it doesn't reach. This is just a connection if you're using the action camera um, or the GoPro with the DJI, I think you need to use this. And this is just a charger that I use for my earbuds, actually my wireless earbuds, but also it doubles up as a charger for this remote that I use. It's a Bluetooth remote that is included with this tripod setup that I have going on here. It actually rests at the bottom here. So it acts as a selfie stick um, camera button, but also you can use it for video, initiating a video. The nice thing about this tripod is it's very portable. It's not that tall. So it goes up to about my waist right here. But I find that this, this is plenty tall enough for filming. And if I need it to be taller, all I have to do is put it on top of something else like that, then I'll be tall. So this tripod is actually a two piece. I bought this separately because the ones that these cheap tripods always come with is a phone holder or a camera or some sort of holder that's super flimsy every single time. So I purposely got one, uh, a second one that is more hefty. As you can see here, you can change the rotation. So you can rotate the camera, whether you want it this way or the other way. And of course the ball mount here will rotate the camera as well. And this one is to adjust to hold the camera right here. And the nice thing about this is, as you can see, it's a tripod right now, but if I wanna use it as a selfie stick, I will just fold it like this and I will use it like that. Now it's a selfie stick, see? The audio was messed up in this section, so I'm just gonna voice over and tell you guys that I was using the remote control to start the video to start recording. And it's really handy because sometimes, even though you can use hand gestures with certain phones, the lighting messes up the hand gestures and sometimes it is not recognized. So having a button to push when the tripod is really far away is extremely helpful. And I'm just gonna tell you guys the reasons why I pick these items that I just showed you guys. So I mainly use my phone to film now. I had found that it's more convenient to just record with my phone instead of using the GoPro or whatever action camera if I don't need to because if I use those other cameras and then I have to edit all of those videos on my phone anyway, then I have to take the time to transfer all those files, which actually takes a long while. And another thing I wanted to add is that Another thing I eliminated from my packing is bringing the drone with me. So unless I am leaving the house with my motorcycle, I don't bring the drone at all because it's really inconvenient to carry it in my backpack and barely use it because for most of the places that we've gone to for, uh, you know, for filming videos and it's really not conducive to flying the drone anyway, it's really just nice to do it when we're motocamping. So... I figured I would keep bringing it when we're out camping 
uh, but not if I have to lug around the backpack on my back and not strapped onto the motorcycle. In terms of the cables that I brought, uh, as I've shown you guys, I only brought three. I know I could have brought more so I can charge more items all at once, but having multiple cables is also a pain because the more cables you have, the more weight it adds. And uh, I would have to uh, add even more cables because of all the equipment that I did bring. And I noticed that those three, um, I can rotate between them charging whichever item I need to charge at the moment. And I never needed to charge all of them all at once because we are not camping. That's another thing. So if I was out moto camping, I would definitely bring more cables so everything is charged uh, all together and uh, probably would be packing differently in general anyway. Uh, lastly, I just wanted to uh, just say that uh, I just try to be minimalist in, in everything just to make life and keep life simple this way. So that's why I choose to only uh, just use my phone when I travel and not have to bring laptop and laptop chargers and even more stuff. So it really helps me a lot to just minimize as much as I can. And uh, be, it's actually more efficient this way. The less things you have with you, the less time it takes for you to think of which one you need to use because you have no choice. So it's a good thing. You can instead use that time to think of more productive ways to, I don't know, something help society or something like that, right? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the links are in the description below. If you guys are interested in some of the products that I use, I do not sell them. I just have affiliate links that if you click and decide to purchase i get like a tiny kickback like pennies basically uh, but it does help the channel and uh de definitely i like hearing your comments on the comment section below please leave comments because i'm pretty sure you have something to say about your packing as well and, and filming. And I know half of you guys, if not more of my subscribers are also vloggers. And it's nice to hear how you guys do it, how you edit, how you travel and edit and you know, all these things. Cause uh, it is not an easy thing to, to keep on traveling and moving and finding the time to film and edit and upload the videos consistently. Uh, as you guys notice, I have minimized my uploading from once a week. At one point, I was doing twice a week. It was really, really time consuming. And I am mostly editing and filming and not really doing anything else of other things that I could be doing. <laughs> so uh, I've minimized it to once a month. That way, it's more... Uh, sustainable for for me so I can keep the channel going uh, longer and not burn out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Ride safe for those of you who ride and take care. Bye!